Use the method of differences to find an expression for the sum of all the squares of natural numbers. Right, before we can actually do this, we need to understand what the method of differences is. So using the method of differences to evaluate the sum of a series. So we want the sum of some series u r from r to 1 of n. The terms will be u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus u r plus u this is the general term, and then plus u n minus 1, which is the last but one term, plus the last term, which is u n. If we could, u r can be re expressed as the difference of two functions, say f of r minus f of r minus 1, then the sum from uh, 1 to n of u r will become the sum from 1 to n of f of r minus f of r minus 1. Now, you don't have to use f of r minus f of r minus 1. You could use something like f of r plus 1 minus f of r minus 1. This is not fixed in stone. It just means that the difference needs to be uh, come out to be this here or some multiple of it. So, that will be, if we write this here, putting uh, the first term in, f, the first term will be f of 1 minus f of 0. Plus the second term will be f of 2 minus f of 1, plus f of 3 minus f of 2, and then so on. The general term will become f of r minus f of r minus 1. Last but one term will become f of n minus 1, f of n minus 2. And the last term will become f of n minus f of n minus 1. Right, we can do a little bit of uh, collapsing here, or I'll... Uh, it's like a, a tele telescoping the sum. We see here that f of 1 minus f of 1, they will cancel out. We can see that f of 2 minus f of 2, they will cancel out. Similarly, f of 3 would cancel out, so I'm going to cancel out with this one here. This general term would cancel out with the next one, so I'll just cancel out with this one here. And then the last term here will cancel out with this. So we're left with... This being f of n minus f of 0. So uh, the sum from r to 1 of n of some, uh, some u of r is going to be f of n minus f of 0. And of course, equation 1, because I'm going to refer back to it, when we're now going to move on to f use this to find the sum of all the squares of natural numbers. Right, so for the square sum of the squares of the natural numbers, let's just write out what the series is first of all. It's the sum from r to 1 of n of r squared. So it's 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus a general term squared plus the last but 1 squared plus the last term. So if we let f of r be equal to r times r plus 1 and 2r plus 1, we'll talk about why we chose that in a minute then f of r minus 1 will become r minus 1. This one will become r plus 1 minus 1, which is r. This one will become 2r minus 2 plus 1, which is 2r minus 1. Now, you just need to choose here that when you find the difference, that you get some multiple, in this case, of r squared. So, now, f of r minus f of r minus 1 will be r times r plus 1, 2r plus 1, minus, I'm just going to put the r in the front here, minus r, r minus 1 times 2 minus r. Common factor of r will come out. r times 2r will give me 2r squared. r times 1 plus 2r will give me 3r. Plus 1 will give me plus 1, 1 times 1. And then minus, just put this in brackets, 2r squared minus 3r, plus 1, and then we're going to just take this uh, minus sign through, so we've got minus 2r plus 3r minus 1, and then 2r squared minus 2r squared will cancel out, we get 3r plus 3r which will give me 6r, and the 1 and the minus 1 will cancel out, so we're going to get r times 6r, which gives me 6r squared, so we've got a multiple above, of what we wanted to, and this you know, what you choose here, there are quite a few choices that you can make here. Right, so 
that from one, we can now say the sum of 6r squared, because that's our ur, will be the f of n minus f of o, where f is this function here. So 6 from r to 1 to n of r squared will be equal to uh, putting n in our function here, n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, and if we now put 0 in our function, we're going to get 0 times 1 times 1. So 0 times anything, this just disappears. And we got 6 times there are what our sum is. We just want to know what the sum of r squared, not 6r squared. So we'll just divide this by 6. So the sum from r to n of r squared will be our numerator, which is n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, divided by 6. This uh, result should actually be memorized. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how... To how the method of differences works for, for summing up a series and then for finding the sum of the squares of the natural numbers. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.